currently 5.30 so I just finished studying cervical cancer because I am going to the oncology department hello it's a new rotation oncology and I've already done my cervical cancer as you guys can see yeah I woke up at 3 you guys know the usual I'm very okay. I don't know how I feel about this whole oncology thing. It's kind of scary because this is my last rotation of sixth year, so that means next year is seventh year, final year. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm closer to the end goal. I will see how oncology is going into it. I have no expectations, I've never rotated in onco department, and yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the hospital and start a new rotation. I'm very excited. <laughs> Uncle, let's go. study chemotherapy and breast cancer because breast cancer is very common chemotherapy because tomorrow is chemotherapy clinic yeah <laughs> what's wrong dog these ones are tired are you tired very tired actually very tired. <laughs> but these stairs this is an extreme amount of stairs Anyways, so now we're going to have a class, I think. I'm not sure. First day things. I'm so tired and hungry. I'm so hungry and thirsty and tired. Officially done. Yeah. So I am back home. And uh, my first day of oncology, I am so drained. That was draining because it was a major ward round and we were standing for a long time and we really discussed cervical cancer and I really like cervical cancer. Okay, I don't like cervical cancer. I just like the topic because I feel like the doctor I had today was incredible. He was just offloading the information. So that's very rare and I was very happy because a lot of things I'll never forget. Like today we went over the complications of um, cervical cancer and he literally explained from the very very beginning of the cervical cancer so yeah um we just went over that uh we really dissected cervical cancer in extreme detail it was so nice to have someone explain something to me and it's not it doesn't have to be a fight so guys i just came back um I just got a text message from my friend complaining about a boy and it's literally 3 a.m. <laughs> it's literally 3 o'clock in the morning and somebody's son is already stressing her. I just I just feel like men need to change and do better because how do you guys feel all the time and just breaking people's hearts? Like get it together, okay? Men all over the world. Listen to me. <laughs> Get it together. Why are you guys acting like this? Why are they acting like this? Huh? Breaking people's hearts at 3 a.m. Crazy. So this is the list of all the topics I have to cover. There are 21 topics and we got four weeks, so 
I'm gonna be doing a topic two topics a day so that by the end of two weeks I'm done with these topics and we have got presentations so we have to do three presentations a day so everyone has to present at least four topics and that's basically the whole rotation and then we're done so today i'm doing breast cancer and chemotherapy and yeah slowly i just do two topics like that and i'll be done by the end of two weeks and i can write my legal exam and then we'll be there so guys it is currently rainy can you hear that that's the sound of the rain it's officially the rainy season and i have a soft spot for the rainy season except the bugs i don't like the bugs we don't like the bags what about you don't you eat bags don't you eat baggies so guys i am running late i am on my way to my friend's house to type an entire powerpoint presentation i was supposed to do it yesterday but my pc stopped working like my pc just decided to die on me and i have to be in the hospital in like an hour and a half so i have to type for an hour i don't know how i'm gonna do it i hate having to pull off these superman um activities every day so i'm just too late i'm gonna have to do it at the hospital it's a damn shame it's a damn shame We hope it goes well. Yeah. So we're now officially done with class. Tomorrow is a holiday. I didn't know that tomorrow is a holiday. So this is the best news ever for me. I'm so happy. I didn't know that it's a holiday. Yeah. Now I'm at Natalia's house and she cooked for me. <laughs> we are both very hypoglycemic. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Um, 
Okay guys, it's me in another black top, but this one is different, you see? Anyways, so I've been at breast cancer today and you know in the middle like in the morning we went for like a meeting uh, They were having like an online meeting thing the seniors like the Consultants and the registrars and we just sat in there confused as hell and I was like hi boy, There's no reason for me to be here, you know, like <laughs> I don't know what any of these people are talking about and I hadn't finished my PowerPoint so I had to literally leave the room and go finish and he noticed that I left and he was really annoyed rightfully so cuz I can't believe I also can't believe I left but yeah it's not my fault I didn't have a PC I don't have a PC my PC is dead so I had to make do and then he said I'm gonna point it to you at random and when I point it to you, you better have a presentation ready so when he came in, I was literally in the middle of talking, I was explaining something to somebody, you know me, I'd be explaining things, and he was like, you, you have to present. I was like, yo, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Talk to me. So I went, I started presenting, and before I even started, started asking me questions, like, he was hammering me with questions. I was just like, you, but so it's rough in here. And not, nobody was helping me, okay? Like my classmates, they're just, they're just happy it's not them. <laughs> so I was just by myself there. But he, like I said, I know breast cancer. So I was trying my best to answer. I did my presentation. I'm done. I'm excited. Um, so far, oncology is so interesting. It's so interesting. I didn't know it was like that. I was like, oh no, sad people, cancer, meow, meow, meow. And it's literally so interesting. I really enjoy it. And so far, everywhere I go in oncology, people just want to teach me. And like I said, I don't know if it's a UTH thing. Because at Levy, it's not like this. At Levy, the data is not... You gotta fight. You know, like I, you guys saw my Oz and Gain vlog. I had to teach myself everything. Nobody told me anything of the gun except for maybe one of the doctors, the one who was assigned to my school. But in the hospital, nobody was teaching me anything. I told myself everything that I know in of the gun. Everything I know in of the gun is because of Sharon Peary, me, Sharon Peary LLC. Okay. Anyway, guys, that is my mini, very brief oncology vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I only post medical school things here. I'm not posting any other content. This is me and my chance to be a nerd and to interact with my fellow nerds and to just revel in our nerdness. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you feel like you're going to be part of that community, join us, join us, join us. If not, it's okay. Thanks for watching anyways. I appreciate it. Say bye to the people. Say bye, people. Bye. Say bye to the people. <laughs> she said bye. <laughs> bye.